Hi everyone, welcome back to another video and first of all apologies, I was not able to post a video last week and why so I'll be elaborating here. So I recently applied for my STEM OPT extension. Now if you don't know what a STEM OPT extension is, I do recommend to watch my previous video where I talk about the difference between STEM and non-STEM courses and how uh, having a master's in a STEM course can impact your journey. So I applied for my STEM extension and everything was pretty fine for the first month or so. On October 1st, 2021, I received a notification on my phone that there has been a change in your case. And I logged in pretty nervous actually when I was logging in and saw that there was a notification that said that there is a there's a case change and USCIS needs further evidence to process your STEM OPT extension application. Now, what does that mean? I was pretty confused. Was my application denied? Was it rejected or what, what happened there? And I went through a document. It said that there is an RFE. Now, what's an RFE? An RFE is a request for evidence where USCIS needs more documents to process your case. And in my case, there were a couple of things that were needed because there was some issue with the university course that I completed. The code wasn't matching with their records and everything. So this is something obviously an internal issue, but uh, I have to go through all of that. And uh, I had to, you know, there's a designated time in which you have to submit your response back to USCIS because the process of your case only starts once once you send back your documents to them. So your application is put on hold by that time. So I was pretty nervous. I wanted to send my documents as soon as possible back to them so that it you know, further it doesn't delay my case further. But when you when it comes to a situation like this and Obviously, this was for me for the first time when I got an RFE and wasn't aware of what to do exactly. My whole experience, my 10, 15 sleepless nights uh, gave me the experience that if something happens to you as well, I hope it doesn't. But if you never know, if something happens and you get an RFE, the first thing is not to get any kind of nervousness in your mind. Don't panic and contact your DSO. Your DSO, DSO is your designated school official. Just send them an email, tell them and provide every information that you got an RFE, this is what an RFE is requesting and see how they, how they move forward from there. So contacting your DSO is the very first, first thing that you should do. And another important thing that I learned from this experience is that send each and every document complete and properly properly align the way they want and make sure each and every small detail is included in your RFE. And if you need any further questions exactly how to prepare your RFE documents, uh, what exactly you need to start off with, how you need to send them, feel free to post your questions in your comments or do send me an email. My email is uh, there in the description. I'll be more than happy to answer. But I really, really hope that no one comes in with an RFE, their applications goes well on time and they get the, they get processed easily and, uh, and without any issues. But RFEs occur. I have seen a lot of other RFEs coming as well with a couple of my fellow students. So you never know. But this is the whole process. Don't panic. Contact your DSO and move in with your RFE with a step-by-step -step process. Look at every, every document that they need in very much detail and then start preparing them. So this was whole for this video. I just wanted to provide an experience that I had for last past 15 days or so. Obviously, it was pretty nervous and I was just my whole mind was just getting my documents complete i have sent them my documents now i'm still waiting for from their side to hear back that was of my documents received properly or has the process started again but there's no update on that i'll be 
I'll be keeping you updated as well. I'll be posting another video about telling like how the application went through. But definitely if there is any question, do let me know, do post in comments. And I hope whosoever is applying right now for their STEM OPD extension, their application goes well. Thank you so much for watching. And yeah, do post any questions that you have. I'll be more than happy to answer them.